welcome to the class students today we are moving to another topic in analysis of univariate data that is partition values or measures of position partition values or measures of position i'll write that partition 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 values or measures of position measures of position in this the measures which divide a given data into equal parts are known as partition values i'll repeat measures which divide a given data the measures is divide the given data into equal parts or known as partition partition values in partition values we have four types of values most commonly we are using first one is median so types of types of partition values first one is median median is nothing but the middle most value and in median will divide the data into two equal halves okay we will divide the data into two halves and second one is quartiles quartiles will divide the data into four equal parts quartile means four will divide the data into four equal parts next is decile deciles deciles means will divide the data into 10 equal parts next is percentiles percentiles so that will divide the data into 100 equal parts so if we divide the data into 10 equal parts it is it is deciles uh, i'll repeat once once again the types of partition values are median quartiles deciles and percentiles to find median means we will divide the data uh, measures which divide the data into two equal parts and also you know how to find median in last sessions okay we know to find the medians for all the three types of data so the same thing uh, we will uh, the same thing we can carry over here also and quartiles means we divide the data into four equal parts quartiles means divide the data into four equal parts deciles means will divide the data into 10 equal parts and percentile means divide the data into 100 equal parts and they are denoted by since median we know that so median is denoted as m or median is equal to m okay and in quartiles we have to find q1 denoted as q1 q2 and q3 and for deciles it is d1 d2 etc d9 and to pers for percentile it is d p1 p2 etc p99 so that will divide the data in this format and we will denote this like this and here in quartile this q2 is our median here q2 is our median and in uh, deciles d5 is equal to median and in percentile d p50 is our median okay in uh, quartile q2 is median in deciles d5 is median in percentiles p50 is median okay and in the deciles sorry in percentiles the 25th value or p25 is equal to q1 and p75 is equal to q3 okay p25 is q1 that is we divide the given value into 100 equal parts and the p25 the 25th value we can call it as q1 value and 75th value we call we can call it as q3 value and here q2 is median d5 is also median similarly p50 is also median 
to calculate this uh, quartiles, decisions and percentiles, again we are having two types of data that is ungrouped data and grouped data. In grouped data, we have three ty two types that is discrete data and continuous data. Problems of this calculate lower quartile, lower quartile, upper quartile, and eighth decile. So, data is like this. As we did in median, the same procedure we are following. First, we have to arrange the data. First, we have to arrange the data. For arrange the data in arrange the data in ascending ascending order. Arrange the data in ascending order. So, if you arrange the data in ascending order, it is 11, 12, 14, 18, 22. 26, 30, 32, 35, 41. After arranging the data, when uh, how we will find the median that is n values like that the same procedure we will continue to find q1 it is n plus 1 by 4 observation. So, it is q1 is 10 plus 1 by 4 because we are having 10 observation 2.27. 2.75 observation. 2.75 we don't have. Second observation we are having, and 2.75 means between 12 and 14 we should get the value. So that to find that, so Q1 is 2.75 observation. This is second observation plus 0.75 into third observation. So, that second observation is this one 12 and third observation is 14. So, your Q1 value is 13.5. Okay. Similarly, similarly we have to find the Q3 value. Lower quartile is Q1 and upper quartile is Q3. So, Q3 is 3 times n by n plus 1 by 4. So, q3 is equal to 3 into 10 plus 1 by 4. This is 8.25 observation. 8.25 observation. So, q3 is 8.25 observation. This is 8th observation plus this is 0 0.5, 0 0.25 into 9th observation. 8th and 9th observation. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th observation is 32. 32 plus 9th observation is 35. 0 0.25 into 35. So, our Q3 value is 32.75. Okay. Next is we have to find D5 value. Sorry, D8 we have to find. 8th decile that is D8. It is 8 into n plus 1 by 10. Why it is 10 means decile. So, we are divide the data into 10 equal parts. So, that this is 8 into 10 plus 1 by 10. This is 8.8 .8 observation. So, 8.8 .8 is D8 is 8th observation plus 0 0.8 into 9th observation. 8th observation is 32. 
plus 0 0.8 into 9th is 35. This is 34.4. This is our D8 value. This is our D8 value. This type, this, uh, this n plus 1 by 10, this n plus 1 by 4, this will be for rare data. Okay. Next, we will solve that problems on discrete case. Here we have to find find Q1 and D3, D6 from the following data. So X value, F value, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 66, 2, 3, 6, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2. So first we will find N value, capital N value, it is 50. When we are calculating the median value, the same procedure we are following for this partition values also. So, for that, first we have to find the LCF. LCF values. LCF is 2, 5, 11, 26, 36, 41, 42, 48, 50. So, our last n value both are same and to find Q1 it is n plus 1 by 4th observation, n, n plus 1 by 4th observation it is 50 plus 1 by 4 it is 51 by 4 or 12.75th observation. 12.75 we have to see in the LCF column 12.75 will come to 26 the corresponding value this uh, the corresponding value to this lc of 26 is 61 so this is your q1 value so q1 is equal to 61 we have to see the value in x column not in the frequency column next to find d6 it is 6 into n plus 1 by 10 decide we are calculating so this is the problem fifth observation and this is 6 into 50 plus 1 by 10. This is 30.6 observation. 30.6 will comes in 36. I will block this one. 30.6 will comes in 36 in LCF. So that one, that corresponding value to the 36 in X column is 62. This is your D6. So D6 is equal to. 62. D6 is equal to 62. If you learn the median, if you know the you if you know to calculate the median values in this format, it is very easy to calculate the partition values also. Next is Calculate Q2, D3 and P20 from the data given below. Okay, And this is our continuous case that is class interval 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, frequencies 7, 18, 25. 30, 20. We know to find a median for class interval problem. The same procedure we are following. First, we have to find the LCF. That is, LCF is, is take the total. N is equal to 100. So, first one will be 7. Next, add 18 to this. It is 25, 50, 80 and 100. To find the Q2 value, Q2 is nothing but our median, we have to find 2 into n by 4. It is 2 into 100 by 4, this is 50, 50th observation. 
So 50 it will comes in this class interval that is Q2. In LCF you have to see the 50, 50 exactly is there. So you take, you block this uh, row it is and to find Q2 value the formula is L plus 2N by 4 minus CF by F into C. This the formula is repeating same or the formula whatever we are using for the median the same procedure we are following here L is the lower limit and CF is the previous one in LCF and this is our F value substitute that Q2 is 10 plus 50 N by 2 N by 4 already we are calculated it is 50 CF is previous one that is 25 frequency is 25 and width of the class interval 0 to 5 it is 5 so our Q2 value is 15 ok next we have to find D3 to find D3 it is 3 into n by 10 because D3 is we will divide the data into 10 equal parts so we will divide that by 10 this is 3 into 100 by 10 this is 30 so 30 will comes in 50 again in 50 in LCF again it will comes in 50 only so for this D3 also we will take the same block and the formula to find D3 is L plus 3n by 10 minus CF by F into C and again L is equal to 10 3n by 4 already calculated is 30 minus 25 by 25 into 5 the CF and F will be same so D3 value is 11 D3 value is 11 and next is we have to find the P20 value P20 P20 is equal to 20 into n by 4 because n by 100 sorry n by 100 because p is nothing but percentage so we will divide data into 100 equals parts and we want 20th one so 20 into n by 100 it is 20 into n by sorry 100 by 100 this is equal to 20 so 20 we should see in lcf that is 25 so i have blocked this one and here this one will be your cf and this is our f and this is our L value. To find P20, it is L plus 20N by 100 minus CF by F into C. So, L is equal to 5 plus 20N by 100. We have already calculated it is 20. CF will be a previous one. So, this is our 7. And divided by F is equal to 18 into 5. And our P20 is equal to 8.61. 8.61. These three are very important problem. In exam, you will get any two of this. Any two of. Uh, it can be on uh, quartile percentiles, deciles percentiles, quartiles, deciles. Like that, they will get. They will give the problems for your examination. And this is very very important topic. Thank you.